great. Good day. Oh wow, look at the look at the glare. Look at the glare. There's the big beast of a truck there. The big Dodge Ram. There's the trailer we gotta put back. Ended up getting another 200 and some odd pounds on the way home there. We got another two or three uh, runs in like we did today. Oh, so, yeah. And good news, the hubcap was the correct hubcap. Now, uh, gotta be wa I gotta watch out. There's really muddy right now. I gotta watch out too much mud on my boots. I don't want to get my car dirty. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so not look at all the mud. Plus eleven right now. It's actually freaking hot in here. So we did seven hundred and. Was it 730 bucks all in? So we did 800 and 730 in one week. Not bad. Oh, there's nobody coming. If not, then I'm gonna have to use the brakes. Oh, it be sunny, sunny. Oh, listen to that mud. That's a lot of mud. That's really muddy. Look at that clear, holy jeez. Yeah, not a bad day. A little bit of air in here, holy smokes. My buddy's car is black. When you open that sucker in the summertime, man, it just, you have to like stand back and open the door. If not, you're gonna be like nuked with like a ball of heat coming out of the car for like five minutes. This one's not too bad. Sit in the sun for a bit. Can't see in this damn sun. <laughs> Can't see in the daytime in the sun. You can't see in the nighttime. Yeah. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. We had brass and copper. Uh, we had chromium. The truck rims were chromium. Or chromoly, sorry. Uh, 30 cents a pound. So they weren't aluminum. I wish they were, but it makes sense because the truck needs to be built a little bit heavier. So chromoly would be a little bit more... Uh, rigid then the aluminum is definitely a lot a lot stronger I'm gonna be heading right into the sun holy crap I'm not gonna be able to see a thing they gotta stop cover that darn garden I kept forgetting and uh, especially with the heat like this it's like plus 11 right now it's like minus something this morning and uh, yeah we're gonna end up with a whole bunch of weeds in that little garden if I don't uh, <laughs> if I don't cover it up my client will be mad. He's like, why is there freaking weeds in the springtime? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to cover it up. My bad. Gotta watch out. The uh, the popo are out there. Seeing about three, two, uh, two people getting pulled over today. Speeding, passing us. Yeah, so there's the popo right there. And I'm like 10 over. The only time I've ever speeded in my life, any <laughs> a cop's coming along. Like, usually I'm always like right on the money there. So I'm a little, well, okay, I'm a five over. Not too bad. But they're out for vengeance today. Well, it's November, you know, these people want to go to Florida for the winter. Right? So, that's a motorbike. That's the second motorbike I've seen today. Well, enjoy it while you can, bud. Could be four feet of snow on the ground tomorrow morning. So, yeah, what a really good day. Uh, love doing those scrap metal runs. Uh, there's, there's a guy got a hold of me last night and he said it'd be worth it for you to come down to my place now he's far but I don't know how much metal he has so I want to hit him up and say well you know send me some pictures and you know we'll take a guess man. If he's got like three tons it's worth it for me to go that far we might even put a bin there you know if we can knock it out in a day that'd be awesome it's just a bin is $200 so you gotta have at least three or four tons to make it worthwhile, right? Building speed. Oh, the muscle car's gone. And, uh, yeah. So we got rid of almost all our good stuff. There's still a little bit of good stuff that we have to process. Some brass. Uh, we got a little bit of copper wire on the way back. Not very much, you know. Got about 200 pounds of steel shred so that's like a tenth of a ton so we you know 
we're like 20 bucks ahead on the next hunt, you know what I mean? This guy gonna pass me on the double line, we'll see. I'm at the speed limit, we'll see. Right now you have two people in Quebec simultaneously doing the speed limit. This is an anomaly. <laughs> guy behind me and me. Oh, he's not passing. Okay. But there's a reason why the best race car drivers come from, like, Quebec. <laughs> it's because everybody's such a lead foot around here. And our roads are so bad that it's just survival to learn how to drive on them without dying. So you, like, it's like, be ready for slippery, wet, uh, dry, dusty, uh, potholy, smooth conditions on the same amount of road in the same spot <laughs> at any given time at any given time madness I tell you but yeah so I'm gonna go home now I'm gonna deal with my beaver yeah I'm gonna have to touch my beaver get them all groomed up and uh, make sure my beaver is nice and soft and uh, you know you gotta handle your beaver well oh here we go you're speeding you're speeding you watch out because the cops are around. You're nailing everybody today. One guy, he passed us, and he must have passed us at about 140, which is about 85 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour. And uh, we saw him, and I, I said, just as he passed us, and he was really going a little blue car, a little shipbox supreme passed us, right? And I said, watch this, the cop up there is going to nail him, eh? And as soon as we, as soon as, soon as uh, he saw the cop, he just put on his signal light. By that time, the cop was out, passing, pa coming up behind us. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, you're busted." He knew, he knew what he did. He knew what he did. They got him. And then the other guy was coming the other way, seeing the cop flying out. He got him. That's why I don't speed because it's like, for the extra time you're gonna save. But it's just, like, I don't understand how people could afford to speed the cost of fuel. I mean, they're not giving that gasoline stuff away, you know what I mean? I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> so, yeah, but a good day, good scrap metal and day. Good scrap metal and week. Don't you dare come out. Oh, that's the big boy. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it's his truck. Well, maybe not. That was a wasted wave. But I could have made a friend there, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go home, deal with the beaver, get him. If I can get him skinned up, maybe, maybe I might skin him tomorrow, we'll see. So it depends how dry he is, right? He has to be completely dry because when you, if, you, if, you, if you're handling a wet beaver, I mean, some people like wet beavers. Don't get me wrong, a dripping wet beaver's nice. But a dry beaver, sometimes you get a little more. Uh, Sometimes, you know, they're drier, but they're softer. You know what I mean? If, does that make sense? No. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys are really enjoying the beaver conversation right now. <laughs> you dirty bastards. I'm literally talking about a beaver I caught yesterday. <laughs> you, you guys know. You guys know. You know how this channel operates. <laughs> Your expectations were already that low. Don't worry about it. Or your expectations were already that low. So not this one, but the next one. Going to the tarp, to the cover. 